Now joining us live, the Chargers' new left tackle, Rashawn Slater. You know, it is amazing. So you go to college, you get overlooked by everybody, and we always talk on our show about how quarterbacks, they got a chip on their shoulder, Brady was overlooked, or Dak was overlooked. Nobody, you didn't get all the big dogs coming after you. Do you believe that absolutely, Rashawn, in, made you a better football player and made you work harder? Oh, without a doubt, yeah. Um, I think, I feel like, you know, just, I I kind of feel like it played in my hand just because my whole life I've kind of been used to being looked at as an underdog. Um, in high school, we didn't really win many football games, and so our program wasn't recruited very heavily. And then, you know, Northwestern, a lot of people perceive it to like be one of the weakest teams in the big 10 when really we're not. Um, and so, yeah, I feel like it definitely put a chip on my shoulder and just the way I prepared has kind of always been based off of the way that, uh, I felt like I had to like show everyone that I was better than they thought. Now you did opt out. Uh, I had a general manager tell me it didn't matter with you. You had so many starts. You were a good, smart kid. But but was there a part of you? That, take me to the day you opted out. Were you sitting there? You talk it over with your parents. Did you think to yourself, man, I'm going to make the NFL. Is this going to hurt my draft stock? Yeah, I mean, that definitely went into the conversation. Well, initially, the you know, the decision was kind of made for me. And so from there, when the Big Ten canceled, I started training immediately. And then um, – yeah, but when it came time that they reinstated it, I talked to my parents and my coaches at Northwestern and then my teammates, um, and it was it was such a hard decision, but we ended up just deciding, like, hey, if I weigh the pros and cons, like, there's a lot of uncertainty around the season, and I know the training's going really well, so I ended up just deciding to keep training, and it worked out. I know. Sometimes uh, general managers will tell me things, but I'm not going to say them yet because I, you know, those are sources for me. So I know the Chargers, the two, there was two people they wanted and you were one of them. But um, I didn't think they were going to get you because I thought you were going to get drafted before. So <laughs> as you started dropping, I thought, oh my God, the chart, because Tom Telesco is a friend of mine. And so I'm thinking they're going to get this kid. So when you, did you have a sense the Chargers liked you? I didn't. Um, you know, not or at least not more so than any other team because uh, we did we never talked uh, in the pre-draft process. I talked to almost every team, but the Chargers was not one of them, and so uh, I knew they wanted an O lineman, but I just didn't know it was going to be me. You've played left tackle. You've played right tackle. You're one of these guys. You could you could probably play center. Um, would you prefer to be a left tackle? And if so, why? Yeah, I, I definitely prefer to be a left tackle. Um, you know, that's where my best ball has been played so far uh, in that 2019 season. I feel like I have that versatility to play any position, but uh, if you ask me what feels the most natural, it's left tackle. So before you got drafted, so people thought you were going to go like eight or nine, and then all of a sudden it's 10, and all it's 11, and all of a sudden it's 12. Was there a moment when you're like, I'm not going to be the guy that falls in the first round, am I? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but, like, the whole, like, mentality I had going into the draft was I'm going to end up in a place where I can excel, and I'm not going to try to set expectations. And so there was a little bit of fear in the back of my mind, but at the same time, like, I didn't really want to let it show or let it come out. And so before I knew it, like, it was kind of flying by, too, in my head. So before I knew it, I was getting that call, and that fear was gone. What um, you're right now training down in uh, Sugarland, Texas, and uh, you're from Texas. You go up to Northwestern. What a life, Texas! You go down to Chicago, which is a great American city. Now you're out to Los Angeles. Have you been to Los Angeles before? Never. I've been to San Diego, but I don't know how different it is. It's a little faster than San Diego. It's but the weather is the same. But it's a it's a little faster. But you're going to be doing a lot of football. You don't have to worry about that. Have you seen? Just now, I don't know if you know this, but they've got a really good quarterback. His name is Justin Herbert. Have you seen him? Have you heard about him? Oh, come on now. Of course. <laughs> I, uh, like, if you look at my search history right now, I've, I was watching his highlights like yesterday, just like getting real excited about the offense and what we're going to be able to do. Um, obviously, I know like we have a lot of tools, you know, having Justin is huge, and then uh, just a lot of vets on the O line. So, like, I feel like it's such a great situation to be going into. Yeah. What kind of offense do the Chargers run? I mean, do you think they play for your style? Does it work? Yeah, I definitely think so. Uh, we talked about running a lot of 
you know, outside zone, uh, letting, you know, letting the playmakers make plays and setting up play actions off that. And so, absolutely. That's a lot of what we ran at Northwestern was outside zone, too. So I feel like it's a great fit. Well, this is exciting for you and your family. So when, when you'll probably get out here, by the way, SoFi Stadium's brand new. That's nice. Your quarterback's good. The weather's good out here. Um, this is it. I mean, when you were – after you get drafted, bro, high five to the commissioner, and it's done. What's it been like for your family? Just it's a generational change. What's it been like for your family? Oh, it's been – it's been really cool. Honestly, like that, that might have been outside of getting drafted. The highlight of draft weekend was just being able to be around them and like see how proud they were of me. Um, it was unreal and I'll never forget it. You know, I'm so glad that we were able to like just do it all together uh, in person, but it's been incredible. Hey, man. And like uh, my, my, my mom and my brother are probably like the most diehard Broncos fans ever. And just growing up, that's all I've seen. And then the other day, I kind of had the realization that now they're Chargers fans, and they just completely dropped the Broncos fan. So <laughs> that, that was probably the coolest thing for me to see. Broncos. Who needs the Broncos? Broncos are yeah, nothing, right. baby. They're nothing. Rashawn, congrats. I hear nothing but amazing things. Uh, your life's going to change. It's already been amazing from what we can tell, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. You bet. Rashawn Slater. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.